making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, the one half of the tag team, Denardel Gote. She is the brain mangler. Turquid! And on her way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Junior Heavyweight Champion, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance and one half of the tag team KT Leia. Comment! Referee for this match, Van Perry. Fight. All right, everybody, welcome to Rising Heat, our big event. All titles on the line, as usual, per big event. Unless something major happens, which is outright rare, possibly never. <laughs> and right now, Turkwib, Sisterhood, you know, they, they locked up the women's division, so. You will be seeing Hair Queen versus Shadow Pharaohs, and I believe that's I believe that's how that's gonna go. Uh, I I gotta recheck the card. The card's been getting switched around because Sisterhood's been alternating what title they want to go for and not go for. You know they they want to dominate and hold all the belts, but there's certain belts they can't get. You know heavyweight being in particular. And tonight, certainly not the tag team. Nice right bare knuckle punch by, by the champion. Give up. Uh, last week, uh, we got to see Sabrina more or less kindly stop her uh, possible antagonations against Plush. Give up. And, I mean, she said Plush laid out a good argument, whatnot, and yeah, we, yeah, we get that. Sometimes a good argument can dispel certain things. Come on. Another right bare knuckle Come punch. Or she caught a right I I I in the neck, the shoulder. Taser chop, which probably equals up to the same thing. Turku, that's that's a big woman. Heavy handed. Jumping knee by the champion. That inside half crab. This will be Comet's second title defense. Keeping a hold of that belt. Ooh, another punch. Dizzy interrupt, but Turquoise was like, nah, come here. Opening match, but it, it, it but hey, they're all main event matches. All of them. Got five matches. Five, five belts, five matches. Comet's like, I'm, I'm gonna hit that back and I'm gonna keep going. I mean, that's that's smart. Turquoise with that miss, but she got that headlock and she hit that punch. Turquoise not unfamiliar with being a champion. And she she tried uh, holding the women's champion. She she vied for that very well, but she, she just made sure to stay in top contention. But she's former Master Four champion, but that's held currently by Flatus. Turkey with a nice left straight. The comments like, uh uh, we got the. It's like sometimes you get hit and you just automatically react. There's really nothing they can do about it. You know, I've, I've seen it, done it. Ooh, stiff left straight. Comment goes behind. Nope. Turkey eliminates that. Clubbing. Clubbing. Comment knows she's, she's got to watch out for the sledgehammer fist. Uh oh. That's Stiff Larry, that normally is a precursor. And there it goes. 
too. The comments like, get off me. Oh, come on. Was that really necessary? Come on. They carry a power slam, but they're in the ropes. Comments getting a little desperate. Ooh, chop after putting her in the corner. That front headlock, she's still shaking off those cobwebs. That sledgehammer fist ain't no joke. Nice spinning back fist. Two. Thought she had it right then. I thought she had it. Knee to the body by Turkwood. Nope, there we go again. Oh, God. One. And she got it. And your winner of the match at new CR Fire Pro Junior Heavyweight Champion is Turquib. And I'm sure Soberana is happy. I'm not happy. I'm not going to be happy at home later. I, I'm going to have to. Yep, ice packs and comfort and everything. But it, it, it is what it is. Let's, let's crown this new champion, all right? Making her way to the ring, representing focused aggression and one half of Texas has, she's the Texas cruncher, Vicki Williams. Making his way to the ring, representing jailed without order and one half of JWO Lock. He's the co-leader. Heard Lock. And making her way to the ring, representing Natural Born, Hailing from the Republic of Bulgaria and one half of Natural Born Dominion, Natural Born Sarisa. And making her way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Master of Four Champion, representing the Lair, hailing from the Sudan, Flares. referee for this match the Larry okay here we go everybody it's the master four championship and this will be Flaris's second defense she's um this is her second time being master four champion and I think she got two defenses last time I believe and yeah there are no there are no count outs 
but there are disqualifications and such. Keep that in mind. Um, now, originally, what could have been is that it could have been Flaris versus Vime Cholerou versus Lilian Leon, and then that could have been, and then Hurt Lock could have been a part of that. But that's not how that went. Mili and Leon suffered uh, a severe bruising of um, the neck and shoulder. I mean, severe. She couldn't move. She couldn't move. And medically, she had to, uh, you know, steroids, inflammation, and I mean, anti-inflammatories. All that. Other, I mean, it was it was bad. Um, nothing broken. Nothing dislocated. But she's gonna need another week out. So. She's not there. Bima Show chose to go instead when she found out that Lillian wasn't going to be in this. She then chose that she's going to stay in it. But then, as the show was starting, she opted to go after the women's championship. So, because of that, the next one's in line. So, that's Hurt Lock and Vicky Williams. And at rank seven was. Well, uh, Rikisha Vetaroga. So that's why it's you know one, two, and you skip three and four, five, six. Because Dime Cholero and Milian Leon are not in this match. That's what happened. Dime Show has a chance to get back at um get or well, to get the women's champion. So she wants to she wants to do that. She'd like to be a singles champion like that because this is not necessarily a singles title because you gotta face three others in the ring. And V Mesho has is a former Master Four champion, but she wants that woman's title. So I it's just what they're doing. Man, nice roller knee drop there by, by Vicky Williams. Carolyn was slammed by Saritza, but this 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 whole thing is is the sisterhood. They 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 made this real bad. Nice belly to belly suplex and hold, but there's a kick out. The champion, this, this, you know, she stays into this now. She will stay in this match best she can, which I understand to be impressive. But in terms of retaining, you know, your energy and staying healthy. And viable to win at the end, I would I would try to bow out as much of the match as possible. I think that would be the best thing. Um, so yeah, you know, and Turquib, she's new junior champion, so Rimesh is going to try to be the women's champion. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow. Soberana Draganes will be vying for the Junior Road Championship. So she wants that built. Knee strikes. Suplex float over. Hold. And nope. We got slapped. Nice vertical suplex. Oh, chop. I don't know how much of a save, if that was an attempt to save at all, by Hurt Lock. Okay, she stopped that elbow because Flaris is about to catch it. Oh, nice, sac nice, nice uh, sacrificial attack by Saritza using Flaris and Vicky on the Irish whip there. Clubbing at uh, axe handle, and then he got a hold of that knee. Elevated half torture crab. Flaris is like, we're we gonna get into this. If you, if you don't, if you don't work on Flaris, it's gonna be bad. Because Flaris will turn it up near the end. She's done it twice, so I'm expecting it. Oh, there's a that combination. Axe kicks, axe kicks and back fist. Nice German, well not German, but backdrop. Naughty backdrop rolls it. 
Got a hold of it. Dragon suplex. Rolls it. There's Plex. Sanisa was on the roll there. And Sanisa had that other torture uh, crab locked in. And she got him up. Spiral sit out. Dragon bomb. One. Two. Last time Hurt Lock was here was uh, with uh, B Block. And they whooped each other up and dumbed themselves out of the title. But there's no fun to be had. It's all business. All business. Two. And another one, but she should be in the ropes. Yeah. Makes the face. Sadiq is like, look, I'm tired of not having a belt. Period. She's striking that in. She could tap out the champion. She didn't, but if she could, by default, there'd be a new champion. Man, nice snap. Butterfly DDT goes over and tries to cover the champ. Nope. Mount position. Knee strikes to the champ. And Sadiq is trying to break it up for some reason. And he's got her up. Aztec scoop, Northern Light Bomb. So he's just filling the roads but not doing anything about it. German suplex STO combination. She rolls up, O'Connor roll. Two and three. She got it. We will have a new champion. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to what happened, but man, they they are happy. Saritza is wanting this. Indian Deathlock falling back. Shades of Inoki. And he's going. That scoop. Northern Light Bomb. Victory roll. Victory roll. Saritza's stunned. She can't do anything. Oh, kick out. Kick out. Multiple standing switches from German suplex. Rolls it over. Got all of them. Push him into the ropes. Vicky got it. Man, shin crush. Put it outside the ring. Mountain bomb. Hurt lock is like, man, I'm trying to put JWO back on the map here. Because cert certainly, you know, uh, in our final match, JWO Block will be going against Malfeasance, who has not, and that team has not had the best luck against JWO. They've been getting outsmarted and all kinds of things. Trick knee, and then he goes for a bridging side headlock. Can she weather the storm? Yes. Hurtlock is doing everything that he can. Mountain bomb. Spinning net breaker. Goes right back to it, makes the cover. Trying to put them both down. Being a warrior in that ring. He's doing what he can. That Juju Katame. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice Frankensteiner right there. She's up. What's she waiting on? Kuda Kanrana. That was the infiltrator version of it. And then Torture Crab. I, I didn't know he could do that. Slamming the knee to the top of her head. Sadiza could not score the submission on Williams. Elbow to the back. Oh, got popped. Juju Katami. Vicky's pulling on that arm. Hurt lock. Nope, he holds out. He holds out. Go behind. There's Plex by Sadiza on Williams. Got him. There's Plex for Hurt Lock. Williams pick him up. Frankensteiner on Sadiza. We got 60 minutes. It ain't going to go that long, folks. You know that. This is practically combat pro wrestling. I love it. Oh, and he surrenders. Yep. Punch to the back of the head. One thing you took. Oh, she got that deep heel hook in. A deep heel hook is coming down to Saritza and Williams. 
standing switch. She's got a this plex. She can't follow it up. She is she they they are hurt. They're battered. Mono and mono. She's got her up. German suplex from Brown. Not a hold though. Vicky recovers first, followed by Sarita. They tie up again. Argue up by Sarita. Standing switch into the schoolgirl roll up. Two, three, and she got it. Your winner of the match at New CR Fire Pro Master 4 champion is Vicky Williams. Let her stand up and take that little bow right there. Show some things. All right. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Truck room mad at me for firing all them people. I don't care. It had to go. Messing up my show. Congratulations, Vicky Williams. Congratulations. Woo. We got more matches, y'all. So let's crown this new champion. And let's roll. making her way to the ring from France, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, one half of the tag team Denard Dare Gote. She is the graceful butterfly, the Mesha Leru. making her way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Women's Champion, representing the lair, one half of Texas has, Hair Queen. Free for this match, Mr. Senior Junior. All right, here we go. This is the match V-Man Show won, and I guess you're trying to keep the champion off kilter. You know, trying to prepare for can't be Turk with, and V-Man Show was slated to be in the Master Four, so you prepare for Shadow, and then now it's like, oh no, it's gonna be V-Man Show, the one that was gonna be in there. So maybe that's the idea. Keep her off kilter. Those side clutch tie-ups and knee strikes. Sometimes she'll use a middle kick instead. Trying to bury that shin into the rib, the far rib size, what she do with that. The hair queen should be all over somebody. She's got a hold of Oh, give me shows like, nope, give me that noggin. Then make sure wants to return here. She's like, look, I'm gonna be this champion again. Hair queen's like, I just got it back. <laughs> You know, she took it from Miss Submit. Miss Submit was being dominant. For multiple months, she was dominant. And then on the road, Ice was like, you won't be wrestling for some time. <laughs> I think she's out for, for eight months, I think. 
a, a severe grade concussion. I can't, I can't remember what level they gave it, but it's brutal. And I mean, she's adhering to strict doctor's orders. And honestly, that's our policy. If you're going to wrestle here or wrestle a game here, you need to, you know, abide by doctor's rules. And that's our rule. You don't mess around with it. Ralph Winbora Mata decided to do a run-in uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, if not maybe three, and I'm like, you, you're not clear to wrestle. I, I, I chewed him out. I was like, this ain't, you know, this ain't Muto Turka talking to. This this, this is the owner. You know, don't come out there and risk your health for just for, for crap. You know, you might lose, but live to fight another day. You know, so, and that's these two in the ring right now. Basically, these two female titans of the women's division. Hair Queen, former tag champion. Don't forget that. Ooh, elbow knocked it down. And no, this match is not contested under STST rules. And the reason being is because when we're going to do that, you need to have full understanding of your opponent, the rules and situation they're in. And v -Man Show, the sisterhood basically did not allow for such a thing, so they do not get that privilege. v -Man Show Leru, the quintessence of submission excellence because she won the tournament, does not get to have, you know, you, they can't take the gloves off in this. Can't do it. It's not submission only. And just to let you know, another tournament will be coming up shortly. Man, lighting each other up. Do make sure targeting the arm. Making sure to target that arm. Chop. Yeah, lucky you caught across the forehead with that one. It might be the height difference. Ooh. Remember when Benoit chopped Regal in the forehead, Regal was leaning over. Regal's taller than Benoit, but Regal was leaning over. He caught that chop right into the forehead. You know, it was hilarious, but it was devastating. Yeah. Go behind, sleeper choke. Give up. Give up. Oh, raging fist. Knock down. You rarely see that out of Vima Show. And no, just a two count. Plane two. Half Queen Show, she can work the arm. Vima Show's like, come here. Pushed off. Oh, man. See, all like that elbow. Standing back heel kick. You going to the top. She waiting on him for something. Somersault drop kick. Nip up. Demon Show's like, I'm getting right up. And she's going right back to working that arm again. Oh, pulls her down. She's like, we're going to do this. What's she going for? Swan dive heel kick. She's got her up. She's got her, Mr. Dio Rana. Two. It's a, she, she'll come back in the ring. I thought she would get a breather first. Irish whip. Drop down by the challenger. Elbow. v make sure going for more combative stand-up. She's drilling that elbow with that. Yeah, elbow to shoulder. Look like, oh, yeah. She is softening her up. v make sure doing more of a stand-up than anything else. Heracles has been working on the arm and whatnot a little bit more. She's like, get off me. You're going to brutalize me outside the ring. Half Queen's got to keep a little distance, though. And she's trying, but that, you know, she, she, she's trying. Half Queen's got trying to hold on to this title. Trying to keep that belt around her waist. Multiple elbow stabs. Half Queen got a hold of the middle of the ring. Got her up. What's she gonna do? Come off those ropes. 
Satellite head scissors throw. She was primed for uh, final hop, but she tried. And they're going to tie up in middle kicks, working those ribs, and, and now hair queens in the ropes. Let me show grinding that, that, that the face across the top rope. Trying to blind those eyes, and she got in the sleeper hole. That's a wicked combination to rub the eyes across the ropes and then put in the sleeper hole. Raging fist again. And she's, does she have her? Yes, she does. And the winner of the match and new CR Fire Pro Women's Champion, Vime Show Letteru. And she joins her tag partner in singles belt holding. It's just, oh, Hair Queen's going to be upset, but... Hey, back to the drawing board, right? You know, don't don't do what you did last time. That's what that's 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 my advice. Don't do what you did last time. This time, get ahead of it. Chill. Take a little break. Climb back up. That's how I see it. You know. Anyway, let's crown this new champion and let's roll. Making her way to the ring from Russia, representing and one half of the tag team Galaxy, Sola Flame. Making his way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Heavyweight Champion. Representing focus aggression and one half of the cross faction tag team CM United, Bajan. Referee for this match, Mr. Senior. Here we go. You know, not the final match. We got one more tag team, but right now, Solar Flame has battled her way into this position. Battled against life. She, she climbed the ranks. Her life was back and forth. She was getting sick of them. And, I mean, no matter who won, this match is going to be a test. Bajan, you know, he, he's christened in the title. He's got a defense. You know, that that belt is his right now. You know, he's defending. He's defending that heavyweight title. And Solar Flame has been to this dance against almost every heavyweight champion we've had. She's, been, she's either been close or been in the match. She's just never been able to win it. 
you know, I mean, tag team, Master Four, she's done that. She's, she's, she's gonna do what she can do. And Bajan, I mean, he's proven to be devastating. I honestly, <laughs> honestly, you know, I wonder, if, I wonder how it's gonna be for CM United if they, if they ever wrestle as a tag team. Again, it's been a while. It's been a while. And just to be honest, Bajan is one half of that tag team. He's CR Fire Pro Heavyweight Champion. His tag team partner, Solstice, is the CR Fire Pro Road Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, Bajan's Heavyweight Champion, not tag team. Heavyweight Champion, and Solstice is the Heavyweight Dessert. I mean, they, they they did early what uh already did early to what um Denard Del Go Ten has done. You know, uh, respectively, singles competitors both. I mean, you know, they're singles titles, but they're a tag team. This right here, I'm my curiosities are so peaked. I don't exactly exactly know where to go. In, uh, for conversation, I'm, I'm like, it's, it's all over the place right now. You know, it'd be nice to see if Solar Flame can, you know, get this get this belt. That'd be a great addition to her collection. Um, but also, Bajan has toiled uh, on the road and on TV, never winning either, but did win the. Uh, you know the tag titles here on TV with Solstice, so him, him having this, you know, you kind of don't, you don't really want to see a short champion. But hey, this is his uh, what second title defense? Ooh, strong elbow drop. Feel the power. Pyramid driver. So the flame got him. So the flame tapped out life with those knee strikes. You know, and, and life is always an uphill battle. You know that. It's a vertical climb, basically. She's got him up. No, reverse. Dropped him. Elbow drop. I mean, just and holds it too. A flat two. Oh, left straight. And she's got him. She's got him up. Uh, as technically she calls I think she calls it the prominence two a flat two and he's going for he's going to drop on her head until it's done I suppose whoa she just got the shoulder up. just just escaped the pit multiple body blows multiple body blows he's oh no I thought he was rock elbow shoot elbow strikes to the face and every time he breaks, yeah, he breaks it, and he's trying to hold it out for the pin, but no. She, she kicked out of that. She got out of that. They was in the ropes, really. Front kick. Put him down, but no. She's got him up for the prominence again, it looks like. Yep. Nailed it. One. Two. Oh, and he just kicked the champion. Just get the shoulder up. Knee strikes to the body. Going to put her down. No. She's stunned. She says, no, come here. Got him up. That Canadian back break into the slam. That the beer special. Rolled away from the ropes. And the champion kicks out. And he's, he's looking weary now. Can't really follow up. And she's got him up. She's got him up. Gory net breaker. Gory net breaker. That's one of her primary finishes. One, two, and no. He kicks out. Thought that was it. She's done everything she can. She's done almost everything she can. Elbow to the back, mountain position. Nope, got got squished. Beijing is fighting, and he should. Got her up for that pyramid driver for a third time. Can that be the charm? And yes, and your winner of the match is still CR Fire Pro Heavyweight Champion is Beijing. Good grief. Devastation. Devastation. Pyramid driver, fisherman driver. Either way, you got to the finish line. <laughs>
Good grief. We got one more match. Let's keep this belt on the champion. And let's roll. making their way to the ring, representing Jail Without Order. First, D-Block, and his partner, B-Block, J-W-O-Block. making their way to the ring, the current reigning and defending CR Fire Pro Tag Team Champions. Representing Retribution, first, Ultimate Violence, Savage King, and his partner, as kicking master, Cheap King, Malfeasance. The referee for this match, Chuck Goose. All right, final match of the evening, everybody. And Cheat King already starting off with the eye rakes. Yeah, he almost got disqualified at the beginning of the match. Look, there's a lot of, of anger involved in this. This is a grudge match. Malfeasance have been getting outperformed uh, strategically, my ad, by Jailed Without Order. It started off on the road when JWO Rock wanted to get their tag titles back. And actually, it started uh, not too long ago. It was a match and uh, a tag match. And that's when Cheat King decided to drop the knee on D Block. They, JWO Block didn't take kind of that. And it was, a, it was a couple of weeks. And then JWO was like, you know what? We're going to handle business. But they attacked them backstage. And after that backstage attack, you know, Mal, you know, it was like, hey, look, we're gonna, we're gonna whoop you up. We'll tell your brother where to pick up the pieces and whatnot. So after that, that's when, on uh, you know, the Malfeasance was like, we're gonna get at you. They tried to attack him. It didn't work out. It just didn't work. And it was like, you want to get to them? You got to go through JWO Rock. JWO Rock was climbing the ranks. JWO Rock being G Rock and Sweet Rock, brother sister team, and they they had a. Uh, a parlay, sort of, uh, with chairs, <laughs> and uh, that's when, I mean, they negotiated, if you want to call it that, with without Reggie there to, to aid in it, and that's when JWO Rock got a match with them, beat them, held on to their spot, went to the big event, you know, and then beat them. And it was a JWO Rock tight match. It was like, we don't, because they were angry. Malfeasance said, we don't want rules. We don't want none of that. We're just going to fight, you know, pin, submission, knockout. It don't matter. And that's right up JWO's alley. And D-Block is already busted open. But he don't care. I mean, he don't care one bit. Um, 
And so, yeah, J.W. Rock got the tag titles from him. And then J.W.O. Block in the ring right now, they jumped Savage King and whooped him up and was like, we'll tell your brother where to pick up the pieces. <laughs> they gave him a match on the road and it was for rank one because that's where Malfeasance was. They got it. And JWO Block 1, that's why they're ranked 1. Malfeasance is ranked 2. Malfeasance keep making these matches without Reggie Cannons to intervene because Reggie, they beat up Reggie. They got Reggie when he was talking trash. Put him out. Haven't seen Reggie in a little bit. And so now, after JWO Block defended uh, their rank like a title match against the Bludgeoneers last week, they retained this spot, and now they're going against Malfeasance. Long explanation, long story, I get it, but that's just what happens. This is, you know, just to get y'all equipped and put up with to understand what's going on currently and why, it takes a bit. It's, it's been brutal. And, this, I mean, these matches, JWO... Yes, they're great in just tag team wrestling in general. JWO Block is the most change up on you, gear shifting team, as they will wrestle you for the little bit, and then, you know, fight. Just straight up brawl. Or that sometimes they just brawl from the beginning and then start wrestling you. They will switch it up. It's what they do. We've seen D Block, you know, defeat the Matriarch many times doing that. We've seen B Block do the same. We've seen the Matriarch try her best to switch it up on them and get the weapons, and it, it just don't work. You can't out JWO, JWO, you're not going to do it. Elbow dropping home by D Block on Savage King. And look, they both make the tag. These, these two teams, I mean, you know, they don't like anybody. They certainly are not happy with each other. Hurt Lot didn't get, he didn't get the Master 4 title. And they're hoping, that, hey, we can at least get this. And hope the JWO can lock up the tag titles on both. But then, you know, tomorrow on the road, JWO Rock, they're going to defend their titles against Redemption, who's defeated the Face Breakers twice. So, in Face Breakers, that's Big Planet and Slugger 9. And right now, these guys are slowly turning up the heat. JWO Block doing the right thing, keeping it in their corner. Predominantly, has been in their corner. Manhattan dropped by Cheat King. No, that's Savage King, my bad. And another one. Man, that was shades of Scott Hall and Scott Steiner right there. Boot scrapes. Slamming his head onto the mat. Just smearing the blood on me. I know that's all he wants. Elbow. Reverse boss and crab. Cheat King's gonna have to start trying to think about getting in there. Oh, he's waiting for the tag. He was calling for the tag. My bad. I didn't know. I'm just, I'm like, he's gonna have to start breaking that stuff up, you know. Oh, see that low blow kick? And it's deserving. So, you know, Japanese leg roll clutch. Two that I got beat before. Poke to the eye. Single leg trip into the guard. Rolls over. Cheat King's in charge with the punches and he surrenders and malfeasance malfeasance retain the cr fire pro tag team titles and he's still beating on him still beating on him do something about it ref come on you know how they're gonna get down oh my goodness brutal 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 just whooping on them they were angry but finally malfeasance came out on top over JWO for once. I hope y'all enjoyed watching what you watched. You know, tune in to the road tomorrow. You know, three three title matches. You got Lizzie Sweet defending the CR Fire Pro Road Junior Heavyweight Champion against Soberana. Sosa defending the Road Heavyweight Belt against Bowdon. JWO Rock defending their belts against Redemption. All right? so. Stay tuned for the road. It's going to be brutal. 
I got the strongest feeling about that. This has been Cedric for CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pain and Agony Wrestling, CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary. Don't matter the order, it's all good. All right. Also, the uh, Paul will be coming back in April. Make sure you check those people out down in the description. All right, show them some love. All right, likes, clicks, all that stuff. And with that said, let's keep the belts on the champs. And good night, everybody.